Uh, there's also such a thing called long-term uh, synaptic depression. If instead of giving high-frequency stimulation, you give low-frequency stimulation, one hertz for 10, 15 minutes here, uh, you see that the synaptic uh, efficiency goes down. Uh, so you could say this is the equivalent of habituation, that if you just touch the skin of the uh, aplysia, you see that the response goes down. Same case here, if you give a stimulus uh, with long intervals, uh, then you see that uh, the responsiveness goes down. Um, and here I was supposed to have a slide, which I didn't have. Uh, let me just see if it comes later on. It uh, doesn't seem to be the case, and I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, okay, this is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, so what I wanted to say is that it turns out that uh, what is happening with uh, uh, the long-term synaptic depression in the hippocampus is that there is a down-regulation, uh, essentially, uh, of uh, the signaling pathway. So it turns out that what you get here is a diminution of the calcium content, which will lead to uh, dephosphorylation of uh, the, the proteins that um, um, uh, are signaling uh, uh, the synaptic efficiency. So with low levels of calcium, you see actually activate, activation of phosphatase, whereas with slightly higher, below five millimolar or something like that, you see activation of the kinases and uh, phosphorylation of uh, the downstream uh, molecules. So you sort of have the possibility of both turning up and turning down uh, synaptic efficiency on uh, the short and long term. <coughs> 